Before God, I entered into a covenant to provide prayer for you every day from now until Jesus comes. You'll never be without prayer again. Take advantage of it. Welcome to Morning Prayer. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer on the Victory Network. I'm Spencer Nordak, and we thank you for joining us this New Year's Eve morning. This is an exciting day. It's Tim Fox's birthday today. It is my birthday. I get to spend it with you and all of our viewers. That's wonderful. I know. Thank you for joining us for Tim's birthday party here <laughs> on Victory Network. This is really exciting. We're going to have an awesome day full of miracles for you. We're so glad you tuned in this morning. And no matter what you're doing, if you're in your PJs, whatever, this is a miracle day for you. Now, tonight is an exciting night too because Brother Copeland's going to be at Eagle Mountain International Church and he's going to be sharing about 2021 and what's coming. And you're not going to want to miss that. If you live in the Dallas Fort Worth area, we invite you to come and be here and be a part of it. It's going to be at 7 p.m. Central Time. Uh, also, you can go on the Victory Network and you can watch it live. It's uh, uh, 7 p.m. Uh, Central Time. Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern time. So tune in and see. You're not going to want to miss this because this is always the sneak preview for the year to come. And uh, Brother Copeland always gives a prophetic word and prophetic insight into what's happening. So just get ready for that. That's happening tonight, New Year's <laughs> Eve. And uh, this is what a year that we've had. What My an amazing goodness. 2020 that we've had. Uh, a lot has happened, a lot has changed, and that's what Brother Copeland prophesied last year. It was a year of great change, and wow, did we ever see that, Tim? Did we? Yes, we did. We did, and you know, he says, has already said that the word for 2021 is the year of the local church, and I can't think of anything better than to have the local church come to the forefront, because with all that we've done, all we've seen this year, as Spencer mentioned, the local church is a safe haven. Yes. And that's where, that's where, the Lord is going to move, one of the places he's going to move this next year. Yeah. And the, the, another thing that he mentioned too was this is going to be a year of great restoration. Mm. And I'm excited oh, about good. that because so many people lost their jobs. So many people lost their businesses. So many people went through just monumental changes, but God is going to bring it back that's around right. and he is going to restore. There's going to be a series of miracles that's going to happen to you this year in 2021. So you know what, tune in tonight. If not, you can, uh, I think you can come back and watch it later uh, on govictory.com. Uh, in fact, if you have a prayer request today or if you have a testimony today, uh, just write us online at govictory.com slash prayer for a prayer request or govictory.com slash testimony to give us your testimony of what's happening, what God is doing. We wanna hear what God is doing in your life. We've got all kinds of testimonies here today to share with you. This is Rosie from Dunbar. She says, God has blessed me 83 years old with great health and surrounded with grandchildren. Amen. That is so awesome. Rosie, Amen. what a blessing. Amen. We rejoice with you. And you know what? You're getting younger every day because <laughs> your youth is being renewed That's like right. the Eagles, like Psalms 103 says. Here's another testimony, Nancy from Hacienda Heights. Uh, uh, family uh, is uh, concerning COVID-19. The tests came back and the tests were negative. No COVID-19. Say it with me. No oh, COVID-19. Just say no to COVID-19. <laughs> you know, it's not going to have the victory over you. You are an overcomer. You are more than a conqueror. You have the victory over COVID-19. Yes. So yes. we've got testimonies to read to you today, but we would love to hear uh, your prayer requests uh, online, govictory.com slash prayer, or your testimonies, govictory.com slash testimony. You know, these testimonies that we're going to be sharing with you throughout this program today have come to us throughout this year. They're, some may have been recent, some maybe earlier in the year, but we want to share these with you because it's a time to celebrate. It's a time to know that God is still on the throne. And these testimonies are good. They encourage your faith. They encourage you to know that God still He's still in the miracle working business. He's still doing things in people's lives. Uh, the ones I have in my hand, this first batch that I have in my hand, have to do with family. Now, we, we get calls in this program all the time about pe from people about dealing with family issues and believing God for family issues. And I wanna read you a couple of these so that you understand that, that God, uh, God is in the restoring business. You said it a while ago, Spencer, about the restoration 
that God is doing, a, a year of restoration that 2021 has already been prophesied to be. And a lot of people have experienced that already in 2020. Uh, this person called in for a prayer concerning her brother's estate. She wanted it to be settled and not go to court. It's currently being settled and no court needed. Now we are praising God for things like that. We get testimonies like that and prayer requests about things like that throughout the year. And if you're believing God for something like that, just know that as long as you continue to trust God. Now I, we said this, I've said this before on this program. Now you don't try to make it happen because when you try to make it happen, yeah. you're gonna mess it up, but you let God do it and it works out perfectly every time. Here's another one that came in. They called into the prayer line several weeks ago asking for prayer of agreement for her brother who was selected, this is a good one, selected by President Trump to be a federal judge in South Carolina. Now, praise God, her prayers were answered. Her brother is the first black federal judge in the state of South Carolina. That's so awesome. Hallelujah, all the praise and glory go to God. And Spencer, you know, that is something that people think, well, God doesn't care about government, huh? Contrary, on contrary, yeah. my, mon frere. I mean, he really does, doesn't he? And the government shall be upon his shoulders there you talking go. about Jesus. Yes, there the, you go. God is intricately involved in our government and in our processes of, of governing people. Yeah. You know, I learned this a long time ago when I took a government class. The greatest form of government is self-government. Yes. And everybody, if everybody had self-control, we wouldn't need any other form of government because everybody would take care of themselves and take care of things. But we have government, we have people in government positions, and we need to pray for our government, for our president yes, every day. In yes. fact, let's do that on Thank this you. last day of 2020, let's pray over our president and over our, yes. our governors and senators and congressmen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we release Father. the power of God to surround those who are in authority over us, kings and all who are in authority. Father, I thank you in Jesus' name that you're giving them wisdom. You're giving them insight. You're giving them breakthrough. You're giving them, Father, in Jesus' name, ways, solutions, ways to cut through all the red tape and all the clutter and all the junk that we've been going through. Father, you said if we would humble ourselves and pray yes. and seek your face, you would forgive our sins, yes. you would heal our land. Yes, and so Lord, this last day of 2020, yes. we ask you God to cleanse us from all the junk that we've been through this year. And Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you that for all the miracles that you did do this year. Yes, and Father, Father, we're stepping into 2021 and you're giving us, Father, in Jesus' name, just a fresh start yes. in our government. Just new yes. things are happening yes. in Jesus' name. Yes. We bless, yes. Father, our leaders Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You know, I got a couple more of these family ones, Spencer. And this one, I, I just looked at it again. I read it before the program and I read it again. This one, this one really is sensational. It's because a, a month ago, they called for prayer for her son. She called for prayer for her son, who's been away from the Lord for almost 50 years. Oh. Think about that. She's been away from the Lord 50 years, her son has. They haven't spoken in about 20 years. Her son was in the hospital and was not expected to live through the night. She called for prayer. She called right here. She called this program. She called this ministry and asked for prayer. And uh, he lived through it. He lived through the night. He lived through it and still recovering. And he's alive. Uh, and she got to meet her grandchildren for the first time in 17 years. Wow. That's what we're talking about, a God of restoration, a God that restores family, that blesses families. And this one came in. She called for prayer a few days ago. This came in throughout the year and asked for prayer for her friend's son who went missing and he was found. I'm telling you, right? Yes, I mean, God. I was lost, but now I'm found. Where have I heard that before? <laughs> I know. It. That is so awesome. And that's the God that we serve. Yes. God yes. is bringing answers to your prayers. You know, I want to share a scripture verse with you. This is in Acts chapter 10, verse 1 through 4. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of what was called the Italian regiment, a devout man and one who feared God with all of his household, who gave alms generously to the people and prayed to God always. About the ninth hour of the day, he saw clearly in a vision an angel of God coming in and saying to him, Cornelius. When he observed him, he was afraid and said, what is it, Lord? The angel said to him, your prayers and your alms have come up for a memorial before God. Now, the reason I wanted to share this scripture verse with you is your prayers this year are coming up before yes. God like a memorial. Yes. Your prayer, not one of your prayers has gone unheard. 
God has heard every prayer that you prayed. Every time you stepped out in faith, every time you believed God, said, God, this is what I'm believing for. This is what I want to come to pass. God has not forgotten any of those and he's still working on those. Some of it might be a timing issue. Some of it might be some people need to be positioned in, in, in a place, in a certain position in order for it to come to pass. But I wanna encourage you, your prayers and your giving, your partnership, in ministry, you're giving into the ministry is coming up before the Lord Amen. as a memorial. God did that with Cornelius. He wasn't a Jew. He wasn't of the covenant people. He was just a guy doing the right thing. And God came to him with an angel and said, because you've done the right thing, because you've prayed, because you have given, I am going to open up the windows of heaven for you and your family. And it changed everything. In fact, Tim, this was the first time that the gospel went to the Gentiles. Right. Previous to this, the gospel was only being preached to the Jews, but this was the tipping point. And this is when all of a sudden the gospel came to the rest of us. Right. I'm not Jewish by lineage. Right. But had this not happened with Cornelius, I, where would any of us be? That's right. But this happened because God heard somebody's prayers. That's God has right. been listening to your prayers. God is answering your prayers. The minute you prayed, God went to yes. work to answer your prayers. That's now right. these that we have been reading, these are real answers to prayer. That's right. These are people who called in and God answered their prayers. I wanna read several of these having to do with COVID. Uh, uh, somebody called in for prayer for a negative result on COVID and got results and it was negative, immediate results. Thank you, Father. Uh, they called in and prayed for him to be healed of COVID and this person was healed. She was hospitalized with COVID and told she was going to need a lung transplant, wow. which she was too old to receive. And she was released four days later, her lungs completely fine. What an awesome testimony. That's the God that we serve. Yes, it is. Uh, another one, to God be the glory. One of the prayer ministers stood in agreement uh, with me about my friends who were dealing with COVID and praise God after 74 days in the hospital, she is home, she is well, she was released COVID free. Last month, I sent in a prayer request for my mother Arlene for quick healing and recovery from COVID and no complications from the medication she was receiving from the hospital. Praise God forevermore. She entered the hospital and was admitted to ICU on Sunday being diagnosed with COVID and a blood clot in her left lung. By Thursday of the same week, she was released from the hospital with no complications and totally healed. Praise we God. praise God for the morning prayer program and thank you for your prayers. This is what's happening on this program, Tim. Yeah, yeah. People are calling in and they're getting real answers to prayers. God is hearing your prayers and God is bringing you the answer. It's so exciting. You just need to jump up and praise God right now. Just <laughs> dance around your coffee table yeah. and just thank God that his, bring, his bringing answers to prayers to you today, right now, yeah. so that you can give him glory yeah. and praise. Hallelujah. You know, oftentimes, Spencer, people uh, may think, well, what is the formula? What's the formula that you use to get your prayers answered? To, is there something special about what you guys do? No, there's really nothing special about what we do here other than we pray the Word of God and we stand on the Word of God. That's the key. When you're believing God, when you call in for prayer or when you're praying for something, the key is standing on the Word. And our free gift to you today is just that. It's a teaching by Gloria Copeland called Standing on the Word. And we want you to have this absolutely free. And the way you get it is you can download it free by going to govictory.com slash morning prayer. And you can get this free teaching standing on the word. And as I mentioned, it, it, there's nothing special about us other than we believe God because we know that there's power in agreement. There's power in prayer. And we all come together here at this ministry. We know a lot of you are prayer warriors as well. You love to pray, you're intercessors, and you make yourself available to this program every day too, because we've got people that call in here and right in here saying, look, I'm believing God. I don't need anything. I'm not praying for anything for me. I'm praying for something for a friend or a family or one of the partners that calls in here. I'm believing God with them for what they're believing God for. So it's really a corporate prayer thing that we do here, but we stand on the word. So go to govictory.com slash morning prayer and download that teaching by Gloria Copeland. We'll give you some insight on what standing on the word means. Now, 
we don't keep a, a list of what we get called in here the most for, what, what requests we get the most. But I can assure you that one of the things that we get here a lot on this program is people calling in for finances. A lot of people are dealing with financial issues. So I'm going to read a couple of these. I'm going to kick it back to Spencer and let him read some of the ones he's got about COVID. But these financial requests that we have throughout the year, here's some of the, uh, the testimonies that we've gotten from those. Uh, this is someone that said she, they prayed with us and was able to make their credit card payment. Praise and that's, God. you know what, that may not sound like a lot, but sometimes people are struggling just to make a credit card payment. And that's a big deal to somebody. And God provided those finances. Here's another one that said they were blessed with a new job, a new house and paid off their car. You know what? We've had so many of those throughout the year, Spencer. People calling in for things just like that. Hey, I need a new job. I need a house and I need a car. And God does it all. God does, God it, does all. it all. Yes. I mean, he's just no respecter and, of persons. And he did it in 2020. And 2020. When people's jobs were going away, yes. people's income were going away. Yes. And miracles have happened. I mean, so for us, miracles. We bought a second car this year. Okay. And we paid off $25,000 worth of credit card debt this year. Praise God. During COVID-19. Praise God. And so the, the spirit of God is moving so that you can be free from financial pressure. Yes. So in, in fact, we're going to pray right now. Yes. We're going to pray. Father, in the Thank name of Jesus, God. right now, yes. people who have lost their jobs, Thank people who have lost their businesses, people who have lost their churches, people who have lost yes. uh, incomes and, and benefits and just different things. Father, in Jesus' name. Yes. Restoration, supernatural restoration. Yes. Father, you're bringing it all back around yes. and you are causing total increase, you, total restoration to come in Jesus name. It looks impossible, yes. but God is bringing it yes. into your hands yes. as if the debt never happened, as if yes. those bills never occurred, as <laughs> if in Jesus name, the need never was an issue in Amen. Jesus name. My God yes. shall liberally supply and yes. fill to the full your every need according yes. to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Philippians 419. We release that on you right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Your needs being met, every need yes. being met, every debt being canceled, every bill being paid, everything being restored to you. We release Release that for you today, yes. today, yes. today, in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, my job's easy. I get to do these programs with preachers. I just stand here and look look, and look good and, and smile and let these preachers do their thing, all the other preachers as well. Uh, another one of these financial uh, miracles in, uh, that we saw this year, they called for financial help to get their car fixed, inspected. It didn't cost much and was accomplished easily. I, we've heard that a lot where you, you think it's going to be one amount and you come back and it was way less than what we thought it was going to be. That's that's God making provision right there, Amen. making things less than what you think they were going to be. Yes. Uh, this person called morning prayer because she lost her car keys and had been searching for three days. Now, who amongst us has never lost our car keys? I'll tell you right now, I've lost mine several times. I think I'm the one that they made those things that you put on your car keys that ding, make you, that you, so you can listen for them. Uh, she called because she lost her car keys. She'd been searching for three days. Within three hours of the call, she found her car keys. You know what I love about that? There is nothing too small. No. There is, no. A, you can call in, That's if you right. have a hangnail, That's right. you can call in and someone will agree with you in prayer for your hangnail to be healed. And, and what God wants to do is he wants to be glorified by being a part of every level of your life. Yeah. So, you know, d don't think it's too small. Just, j just keep calling in. The power of God is here. Here's another COVID one. A uh, lady called in, her daughter was healed of COVID and both her sons received jobs. That's a real answer to prayer. Amen. This this time last month, I called in for prayer, my mother, uh, for quick healing and recovery from COVID and no complications from the medications she was receiving. Praise God. She entered the hospital, was admitted to ICU, being diagnosed with COVID. She was released with no complications, totally healed. Hallelujah. Uh, another one called the prayer line for her sister was in the hospital with COVID. She's now recovering and getting ready to go back to work. That's what God yeah. wants to do is put you back <laughs> on the path. Uh, someone called in, did not feel well, had a COVID test. It came back negative. They went home and prayed for their sister and they had had sweet sleep that night and woke up healed. You know, it doesn't matter if, you, if, if you're feeling uh, symptoms trying to come mm -hmm. on you. You know what? You stand up and you say no in Jesus name. Tell those symptoms to go That's right. in the name of Jesus. They That's don't right. have authority over you. Yes. You have authority over them. You are not the sick 
trying to get healed. You are the healed and the devil's trying to steal your sickness. That's right. So you take a stand. That's right. You stand up against those symptoms and tell them to leave your body. Yeah. You have authority over your body in Jesus' name. That's right. And so you just take that authority right yeah. now in the name of Jesus. You know, Hallelujah. we get calls throughout the year for different kinds of, of medical diagnosis. And I always like to remind people, doctors can diagnose, but they cannot prophesy. It's okay to go to a doctor to find out what may be going on in your body, but that diagnosis is not your sentence. That, they cannot prophesy. You are the prophet of your life. And we get people that call in here for different things. I wanna read some of these healings that we've witnessed this year. Uh, one called in for her nephew in the hospital with a stroke. He got out of ICU speaking and writing his name. Now listen, I don't know if you know much about strokes, but that kind of thing right there is not normal. <laughs> that's not normal to come yeah. out of, of a stroke situation, speaking and writing your name almost immediately. So that's the kind of thing that we've heard about this year. Someone called in for prayer over an incident with her thumb that needed healing. She called back uh, uh, later on and said that she's recovering well. That's, that's a good report. Uh, after praying on morning prayer for her husband's uh, scan, to come back with no cancer, it came back with no cancer in Jesus. Don't we thank that. That's the kind of things that happen, not because of what we are, but because of what Jesus is and yes. because of who he is. Uh, prayed while watching morning prayer and the arm was healed. It doesn't matter, Spencer said it a minute ago, nothing is too small, nothing is insignificant when it comes to Jesus. He healed them all of all things. And I've got this one right here that said, after prayer of agreement with, uh, for several months ago, uh, she had, she's now cancer free. Praise the doctor God. sees nothing. It is all Praise gone. God. We've had testimonies like that all year, yes. Spencer. Yes, healing after healing after healing is happening. You know what? I, I want to show a clip right now. This is by Pastor George Pearsons, and he's going to talk to you about your body has to obey. This is powerful. Listen to this. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. The word of God, Jesus in the flesh, was sent to the earth to heal the people. And now the word of God that he's given to us, that word that we speak becomes flesh. It becomes flesh. When you speak to your body, when you talk to your body, it has to obey you. It has to obey you. This is so good. This is so amazing. You know, when God created the worlds, he spoke from the spirit realm into the natural realm and created everything, created the planet and everything on it. And he did it with words. And when Jesus was sent into the earth, God sent an angel to Mary to say, hey, here's what's gonna happen. The Holy Spirit's gonna come upon you and you're gonna have the Son of God. And the word became flesh. It became Jesus, the Son of God. Now, what does that mean to us? That means God's word, Jesus, is on the inside of us. And when you speak the word to your body, all of a sudden you're speaking from the spirit realm into the natural realm. Maybe you have natural symptoms that are trying to happen. Yeah, you speak yeah. healing into your natural realm and your, your body, this physical realm, your flesh, has to respond to what you say because you have That's dominion right. and authority. This is the same dominion God gave to Adam and Adam lost it. This is the dominion Jesus had when he said, all authority is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore. That means I'm giving you the dominion and authority back. Amen. You have dominion over these symptoms. Amen. You have dominion over black and debt and, and things that are trying to come against you. You have dominion. We have a testimony here uh, for healing. Someone called in for their sister's blood tests and liver issues. Everything came back normal. Praise God. Called last month about her cat. Didn't know what was wrong with it, but the cat isn't feeling bad anymore. I don't know how they found that out from the cat. You know, it says, how are you feeling cat? <laughs> I don't know how that works, but uh, someone called in for prayer and their niece is eating issues. Now she's eating just fine. This is, God loves you so much. God cares about every detail of your life. Yeah. And when you get that word on the inside of you and you realize what is yours and what belongs to you that Christ has redeemed you from the curse of the law, then you begin to take hold of the blessing and the blessing of the Lord is gonna make you rich and add no sorrow to it. Yeah. It's gonna release you into this walk of blessing. Too. Yeah, hey, if you have a prayer request, govictory.com 
slash prayer, or if you have a testimony, govictory.com slash testimony. That's how you can communicate with us. We're about to go off the air here, but I want to read at least one or two more of these just to encourage your faith today. Uh, we had someone call in this year for her husband to have a job, and one day later, he received a one job. One day. One day. <laughs> one day later, That's he awesome. received a job. Uh, and this one, uh, they called in regarding a problem with her furnace, and the insurance provider told her it would have to be replaced, but the repair person refused to repair it. A neighbor gave her a repair person and their furnace did not have to be replaced. Only a small part was required and the cost was only $200, which is really <laughs> small compared yes. to the cost of oh, the yeah. furnace. So yeah, um, that's what we were talking about earlier. God can do it where it doesn't cost as much as people think it's going to cost. Amen. And God has the answer. It was just yes. one little part. Yes. And God has the solution. Whatever you're going through and dealing with, there's one little piece. There's one little part. You don't know what it is. God knows <laughs> what it is and God wants to bring it to pass for you. You know, we're so excited that you were watching this morning with us. Yeah. You can join us each weekday for morning prayer, 930 Eastern time, 830 a.m. Central time. And, you know, tonight, tune in to the New Year's Eve service, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, uh, or go to kcm.org slash events, and you can watch it live while it's happening. That's, uh, watching it live while it's happening, you, you can either be here yeah. or you can watch it live online, right. and you can get a sneak preview of 2021 because God's going to be speaking through Brother Copeland what's going to happen in 2021, and yeah. that's going to be exciting. You don't want to miss it. Yeah, and, and of course, you can watch it here uh, on the Victory Channel as well. Uh, and, you know, anytime you have one of the generals in the faith, like Brother Copeland speaking, Spencer, you want to make sure that you're there listening because, yes. you know, God uses his prophets to speak into the land and he speaks, he speaks things through those prophets that we can contend for with our faith. And yes. that's what we're supposed to do. When, when the prophets speak, we're supposed to contend, use our faith to contend for that. And take hold of it. And take hold of it. Yeah. I mean, if someone hands you a present and you never open, unwrap it and open it, you know, then, then it's not yours to enjoy. I'm going to open some gifts tonight for my birthday. I can promise you that. <laughs> That's a good I'm going to open yeah. them. <laughs> and then you know what? We need to take the prophetic words and we need to unwrap them and we need to open them up and say, this is mine and take hold of it with your faith because the power of God is going to be released through your faith. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we're, we're just so excited that God is moving. You know, we're putting 2020 behind us. Yep. And in the name of Jesus, we forgive and we yep. bless yes. and we release all of that yes. in Jesus name. And we're moving into 2021 where the spirit of God, the power of God is going to manifest himself in powerful ways like you've never seen yep. before. He's yep. going to do signs and wonders and miracles like we've never seen before. Yep. So you need to get ready for that. Just gear yourself up for that. <laughs> We've got some other programs coming up too. Yeah, and here's the other thing. Uh, we'll get to the programs in a second, but remember one word from God can change your life forever. And when you make yourself available to watch the Victor Channel and to be a part of programs like this and uh, services like tonight, one word from God can change your life forever. And you do not want to miss that opportunity. Listen, we appreciate you all so very much. Thank you for being a part of what we're doing here at the Victory Channel. We could not and would not do it without you. We love and appreciate you so much. Until we see you again, remember, God, God loves, loves you. you. We, we love, love you. you. And, and Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Lord. Happy New Year, everybody.